Okay, so this guide is how to deal with mashes. I, I hear a lot of people talk about this. How do you deal with mashes? How do you? I, I can't deal with it. They just mash, 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 mash. All right, cool. Go guide for you. Don't watch that. Let's go. So, someone's smashing jab. Someone smashing jab. We're gonna do the basic ones. This is a basic guide because everyone, everyone keeps getting at me. All right, cool. This person is doing this here. This is what this person is doing. All right, so let's start this. Look for loopholes. If this person's only jabbing, you can duck. Yeah. If if you feel like you can create space, do armor. Uh, I've got power crush, whatever you want to call it. Or even just low launch. If you got like a high launch as well, launch them. Most launch, most like hop kicks and stuff, crush jabs from a distance like this. Crushed. The jab doesn't hit me, we don't trade. It's we only trade it from that close because it, it's not enough time to start the animation, but look. Look at that. Look at that, crushed every time. So, if people do, let's say for example, if they switch up now, for example, if they do the, they, they do down food ones, like, ooh. Okay, cool. Now, most of the time, Jabs are like plus, plus one, plus three on block. Plus one, most of the time it will be plus one or whatever. So that means it's not your turn. That is, that's the jab. That's that's what we call the jab pressure. And people don't know what to do. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm jabbed. I don't know. I'm, I feel so I'm all overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. Now it's when it gets to down forward one. Down forward one, it has a little space. I want, I want him to do that again. Armor. Now, what this does, this resets the situation. Look at the situation now. So, he's away. You're there. You now have time to think about what you're going to do. Are you going to go in? Or are you going to go be aggressive? Are you going to be passive? Are you going to be defensive? Are you going to, like, are you just going to be waiting for it to whiff punish? And these are the things that you have to think about. So, doing stuff like this, like the hot kick, this is, this is a form of whiff punishing because you're waiting for someone to press a button up so i'm just going to talk about i might as well talk about with punishing now as well so if let's say for example if he does let's say for example if someone does this move out in the open and you see it there's two ways you can react to this so you could see it from a distance and be like okay well i don't know what to do or he, he scarf a bit out way. so look this so i can see he's gonna do a move it's either my time to either react or it's my time to relax. It all depends. So this move is pretty strong. So I can't hop kick it. So if I do whiff. A better example is this one. So I know he's gonna try and go for maybe uh I'll say 443. 444? Okay, so I know he's gonna go for this year. But if he does it at distance, you can whiff punish. So you're looking for it, whiff punish. Oh, uh, if you know from here, look. I've crushed the high. I knew it was coming. And then you could get big damage. So this is a good thing, like, you could play like this. Because if you play like this, you could pretty much beat a lot of, a lot of people this way. Because certain people always love to throw out buttons. They just think, all right, I want to throw out to see if they're scared. You get that damage and you're good. You're good to go. They won't want to do that again. They'll be like, nah, I don't want to really risk that. That's, 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 that's damage. I just, I just ate 30% just because I threw out a button carelessly. And this is what you need to do. You need to condition your opponent especially when they're doing stuff like jabs and stuff and you might see people just do like even at the basic level people might do this i've seen people do this and i'm just like all right or even just you need to make sure that they know what they're doing like you look at that and you're just gonna be like but are you mad to do it yep you need to low parry that teach them a lesson you gonna do that again you gonna do that again okay i'll do it again low parry and 
again there's another video that I'm going to be bringing out about low parry or low parry or block now that video is going to be very exciting because it's going to break down what stuff you should low parry and what stuff you shouldn't so what stuff you should block and what stuff you should low parry so yeah that's about it that's that's for the mashers I've seen bare people like oh yeah how do you how do you beat mashers just, just move back get 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 a shot in just wait for, wait for your moment that what they're doing is jab pressure it's just it's good because it's not your turn I can't like so if they say for example I can't jab back so this is your jab pressure I'm gonna mash out jab I'm just mashing jab okay I'm gonna try and jab through this it shouldn't work yeah see I can't jab 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 I can't jab, I can't jab. but I can break it there is ways around it. She has a low. Wait for your moment. And the worst thing is, look at that. Look, look. See, I've got to wait for my moment. Or, like I said, you can literally, if you feel, if you feel like someone's doing it, I know the advanced players are going to be like, look, Jay, what are you teaching these players? But simple down back one and move back. Simple down back one and move back. But now he can't catch me like this is tools to get away down for can't catch me now and she has a she doesn't have a good backdash I don't think so so you could just definitely power crush these are ways to get out of the spams yeah so take that advice on board and you know if you lot are still having a trouble then leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to assist but this has been King J member to subscribe to the channel thumbs up if you like the video if you've got problems leave a comment down below and check out my twitch as well man I sh i'm streaming pretty much every day for the next month on tekken 7 so make sure you look out man peace